Eight years ago, Ford and Bernardi decided he wanted to do something to commemorate Veterans Day. When I was 65, I wanted to do something more than just read about car ads in the paper on Veterans Day and uh, get out and sacrifice in some manner. And when you finish 26 miles of walking, I'll be suffering as they suffer or have suffered. Bernardi, a Marine veteran who served in Okinawa and Vietnam, sets out at 6.30 a.m. from his home in Stonington, walking the equivalent of a marathon over the course of about nine hours. You know, you look back and say, you know, you wish that you were, you know, I could be a war hero. Well, I wasn't a war hero, but I lived through it. And I was able to function when I got home. There's always uh, survivor guilt that you deal with, too. But, uh, you know, you do what you have to do. November 11th has an additional personal significance for Bernardi. My father was a hardworking man. He died very young. And he only saw me play once, play football in high school. And that was on Veterans Day of 1964 against Westerly. And uh, I was voted the best defensive player of the game. You know, he was a veteran also. And, um, you know, for him, the, the only, that, that's the only game he could ever go to. He's always working. Bonardi's route takes him through Stonington Borough, Old Mystic, and Noank, before heading back on Route 1 through downtown Mystic. I think about my four major points uh, but o- only slightly, because I don't look, I don't look forward that far. Because uh, the Marines taught me to uh, put one foot in front of the other and march forward. And uh, we don't stop. We won't quit, and we don't. At 4 p.m., after walking nine and a half hours, Bernardi reached his finish line when the display on his Fitbit read 26.2. Being 73, I'm not sure how many more years I'll be able to do this, but I'm glad I can do it.